Okay, uh, hey, it's free agency has officially started. Um, no Vikings news as of me doing this video for today, Wednesday, but uh, I never did one for yesterday. They did some stuff yesterday, the, the, the last uh, of the tampering days, last day before official free agency. Um, the, the big news, um, from my perspective, was they did something with Kirk's contract. Uh, it was not an extension, they, uh, uh, but they did uh, push some money uh, into the future, into the, I think particularly into 2024, um, and you know, got a got a significant cap savings. Um, I think it was like 16 million or something like that. So his, so for all the people who bitch about Kirk and use and use his cap hit as their as their uh, their go to excuse. Uh, for for why he's bad, uh, they're not going to have that excuse anymore because his cap hit is for for twenty twenty three way down, um, and there's there's debate about what this means for 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 his future because it wasn't a contract extension. They I mean they could they could like flat out just let him go after after uh, twenty twenty three still because he, he still would be a free agent then, but um, they'd have a ton of dead cap money. Like I think it'd be like, I think it'd be like at least forty million, maybe fifty. Like it'd be a lot. There'd be a lot of dead cap money, and they're supposed, you know, there's been a lot of talk about oh, look at this cap space they're they're setting up for for twenty twenty four. Obviously, a lot of that's going to get taken up by the JJ extension, Hawkinson extension, maybe a Darisaw extension, um, and just reg other moves. But um, I don't think this means. I don't. I don't know if this means greater possibility that Kirk is gone after this year or not. I really don't. I think if they get a, you know, I think, I think we'll know this in the draft. If they draft a quarterback, then they're probably going to be planning to have that quarterback take over in 24. Um, but we'll see. Um, and some people thought this may makes him more tradable, but I, I don't know where you're trading him. You're not trading him. He's going to be here. You just got to accept it. The Kirk haters just have to accept it. Um, and there still could be an extension. I still wouldn't be surprised if there is an extension um, at some point down the line. Um, but it makes it a little less like urgent, I think, that they that they uh, that they draft a quarterback, in my opinion, because you're going to be paying Kirk a lot of money probably next year, in, you know, in 2024, whether he's on the roster or not. So why not just have him? Um, but uh, so that was that was like the big news in that. The big news from a signing standpoint was. A slight surprise. They re-signed Garrett Bradbury. Um, that was probably 50-50 that they were going to bring him back. But the deal they got for him, uh, it's a pretty cheap deal. So I know I know Bradbury has his has his flaws as a as a player. He did improve last year, and they and it was noticeable that when he went out, you know, they, you, you noticed that things were not quite as smooth when uh, when he got hurt. Um, but the the money for that is pretty low. Like starting center, a veteran center, it's it's a it's a very good deal, and it won't it won't like prevent them from if they want to maybe draft somebody this year or groom his replacement. At least it's again it kind of gives you a little bit of a um a little bit of uh, time to 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 find the, the the next the next guy, um, and then the big outside signing is uh, Byron Murphy, cornerback. Uh, from the Cardinals, um, they signed. You know, he's they signed him for a couple years. I think about eleven million a year. And we'll see what it, again. We'll always see what happens with how that, how that spaces out with the with the money. But uh, that's that's like that's that might be their big signing um, because obviously cornerback was a huge need. It was going to be a huge need anyway. And then Patrick Peterson left, and we waived Cameron Dantzler. So, um, you know. That, that was always going to be a need, but he he'll step right in. He'll be he'll, you know he'll be he'll be our number one guy. I, like I'm not going to pretend I know well, much about him, but he's a very good cover corner. And again, Brian Flores wanted this guy. You know I, that's all I need for endorsement. But he'll he'll be he'll be the he'll he'll be, he'll be our number one guy unless we draft somebody or unless we you know make some other move. But I don't you know we've cleared clap a lot of cap space, but. Um, I think they still maybe needed to clear some cap space today. I haven't heard anything, but uh, you know they're gonna they're gonna 
they're still going to be adding to the to the cornerback position. Um, and then they re-signed some guys. They re-signed Greg Joseph, which is met is as pre- one would predict is met with some mixed uh, mixed reaction. It's a it's a cheap deal. I don't mind it. Like whatever. He like I know I, I Greg Joseph pisses me off too when he misses extra points or you know he, he goes in these funks. But you know it doesn't. Again, it's a, it's a pretty cheap deal. It doesn't preclude you getting somebody else. You know, not in the draft. Don't draft a kicker. But you know whatever. Like he's he's he hit some big ones last year too. Like you just gonna live with it. Whoever whoever whatever kicker we get, it's the Vikings. Whatever kicker we get, it's just not, it's never gonna you're never gonna be super secure. Uh, they resigned uh, the our elite long snapper DePaulo, um, and uh, Nick Mullins we resigned, so he'll be he'll be the backup again. So I don't know what that now that I don't know what that means as far as if they're gonna draft a quarterback because you know then you would if you, if you draft a quarterback high. Then you're carrying three quarterbacks, and I don't know if they would want to do that, but we'll see. Um, my prediction is they don't draft a quarterback high in the draft. I just, I just don't see it happening. Um, I just, I think they can do it next year. You know, you don't, you don't have, you don't have to hurry Kirk out of here as much as people want to. And again, with the with the new way they set up the his contract, you're, you know, you're going to be paying him a lot of money in 24, whether he's here or not. So let's just have him here. <laughs> Because he'll probably still be pretty damn good. Um, so I think that was it for the for the moves. It's, you know, the last day or two. Of course, I'm sure as soon as I fucking hit stop on this or I hit upload, then there will be the big news of the day. We're still waiting on Harrison Smith. Um, most of what I've seen and heard um, leans towards him staying with a pay cut. Um, um, Dalvin Cook. They're still, we're still waiting on that to see if they do anything there. And then, of course, now that like free agency has officially started, there's guys like Alexander Madison and Irv Smith and and some other guys who are out there, um, and uh, are you know hitting the open market. I don't know. I don't. I mean, we're obviously not bringing Irv Smith back. I could, I, I can guarantee that. Madison, maybe. Like I could see it. Um, and I'm sure we're gonna still still be making some moves. There's still you know there's taught there's been rumors. <laughs> I don't really endorse this myself, but there's rumors that we might be looking into maybe bringing in Odell Beckham. I don't really, I don't really want this guy because frankly, whoever we bring in at this point is gonna be like a third passing option. You know, Thielen couldn't live with that, and he maybe wasn't even gonna be number three. He was maybe gonna be number four. Like, he couldn't live with that. Like, you think Odell Beckham is going to come here and be okay, like, living in J.J.'s shadow and also probably getting fewer targets than a T.J. Hawkinson? And if Dalvin Cook is still here, he probably, you know, Cook's going to get the ball a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't I don't really endorse that very much, but we'll see what happens. Maybe you get him cheap. If you get him cheap, I mean, you take a flyer on him a year for cheap, whatever, I'd do it if it's, if it's, if it's real cheap. But, like, I don't know. I think people hear the name and they think they're going to get the guy who was, you know, a superstar like five years ago. It's just not going to happen. Um, but of course he does have fix, um, connection to Kevin O'Connell, but maybe that would make a difference. But, um, so I think that's about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I like the moves they've made so far. Like they've, you know, everyone's always worried like, Oh, they're in cap hell. Well, they, they were, they've already signed, Oh, so, so, so Darius Smith is the other one that, that that still is yet to be determined what's going to happen there, if there's going to be like a trade or they end up cutting him. Because um, we signed Marcus Davenport, so he's going to be basically the new Darius Smith. Like we signed him, we signed the tight end, we signed Byron Murphy, Lord Byron. Um, like, everyone's like, oh, we're in cap hell. No, we're not. We, oh, we, oh, it's, it's so easy to get out of cap, at, at any sort of cap, you know, crunch. You can always do it, and they always do it here, and they've done it again, and they're they're still more, and they've done it with some of the things that they could have done to reduce the cap that they haven't even done yet. So we'll see what happens. Um, Aaron Rodgers to the Jets is almost official. He he he, he sort of announced it, I guess, today. Guys, I I can I 
I'm usually fine with the Jets. I have, I have no real feelings towards the Jets, but I hope that the New York Jets crash and fucking burn in 2023. And I think they will. I don't think this is going to go the way the way that he thinks it's going to go. Um, but uh, so Vikings, I'm, I'm liking the move so far. You know, real, real smart moves and. People can bitch all they want and then say, "Oh, we gotta, we gotta tank and tank." They're not tanking. They're gonna, they're going, they're gonna still be trying to win this division next year. And I think they will have a very good shot. Got to nail that draft. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the most important thing maybe the whole offseason. Got, you got to nail that draft. Of course, we're getting guys back from the draft last year who, in some cases, really didn't get to get time out there at all. Like we've seen. I mean, if, I mean, it's a cliche to say, "Oh, it's like it's like adding an extra draft pick." Well, it kind of is because the guy's gonna. If, if he can if he can play like we think and and he's healthy and able to get out there, it's going to be big time. Um, but I still think we're going to you know, our Duke Shelley. We got to get we got to get Duke Shelley back. We got to resign him. Um, so that's it. Uh, we'll see what else happens. 